It was seven years ago this summer that Action 13's Marvin Zindler reported on two Texas body houses. Well, we all know the story of the infamous chicken ranch near LaGrange, but whatever happened to the other one, the wagon wheel near Sealy? Few people remember that Governor Dolph Bisco made not one, but two phone calls to county sheriffs that fateful August day in 1973. And within seconds, two body houses were out of business. So let's go back seven years. Action 13 received an anonymous complaint about two alleged houses of prostitution. The complainant said the houses were operating openly in our neighboring towns of Sealy and LaGrange. How do I know? It's backed up by Department of Public Safety reports and backed up by my own investigation. Would you believe up to 150 cars a night would pull into the wagon wheel two miles west of Sealy on Interstate 10? It was estimated that a million and a half dollars went through the body house each year, as big an operation as the chicken ranch. But if you believe the talk around Sealy, this was actually a rest home for prostitutes where the girls came when they were too old to work on their own. That's one of the reasons I call this the worst little body house in Texas, and all that's left is some dingy memories. And the fan was turning in every room. Twenty fans were turning, they were turning. Twenty fans were turning in every room. Fevers were burning, they were burning. And they had to have a way to cool down. Truman Maddox was the sheriff back then and had been since 1952. He's 62 years old today and still the sheriff. Something new is his sense of humor when I ask him questions about the old wagon wheel. Damn, if you get in there, maybe I better get the difference up here where we're making <laughs> and keep this thing straight, huh? <laughs> Go ahead, Marvin. I don't want to take this. Seriously. Sheriff, do you feel left out because uh, they've done all these magazine articles and Broadway plays, and now they're making a movie on the chicken ranch over in the Grange, and they left you completely out? They didn't say anything about the body house that was closed up at the same time outside of Sealy. Do you think they should have done one on yours, too? No. I say yours, I mean the one that operated here in Austin County. Well, I'm glad you rephrased that. <laughs> exactly. but, uh, it didn't sound well. It didn't sound uh, no, I don't feel left out at all. In fact, I'm just glad it's died down and left alone. And tomorrow I'll talk to some old-time residents of Sealy and ask them what the closing of the wagon wheel meant to the town. You know, I think you'll be interested in their answers. Marvin Zindler, Eyewitness News. Action 13's Marvin Zindler tonight continues his look back on some of Texas' more famous body houses. But while most of the publicity centered around the chicken ranch near LaGrange, Marvin also remembers the old Wagon Wheel Motel near Sealy over in Austin County, the place Marvin calls the worst little body house in Texas. The report back in 1973 helped close the chicken ranch and the wagon wheel. Some folks in those counties thought the economy would be destroyed. But at least in Sealy, that hasn't been the case. The wagon wheel did do over a million dollars worth of business for almost a quarter century from its location two miles west of Sealy. So when it was closed down in 1973, I was painted as the bad guy. Today, Sealy is a quiet little town of 3,500 people. You have to look back in the August 9, 1973 edition of the Sealy News to find any reference about the infamous house of prostitution. No big headline, just a short story about my report and Governor Dolph Briscoe ordering the wagon wheel closed. Some folks still don't want to talk about it. Oliver Kitzman, who was the district attorney back then, and now the district judge says it would be inappropriate to comment. This grocery store closed down because of the loss of business and converted to a Mexican restaurant but most businesses just suffered a temporary setback. And the business I, I acquired, the man previously to me had been selling about $400 worth of merchandise a week to the, to the Wagon Wheel Motel. In other words, to the women over there? Yes, sir. Well, in other words, it hurts your business. What about Sealy as a whole? Do you think it hurt them? Uh, no, sir, I, I don't believe so because they, cause we're so close to Houston. Danny Zappalak lost some pocket change when the Wagon Wheel closed. He was a high school student back then. Well, I was, at that time, I was working in service stations, things like this, and I remember giving directions to individuals coming in, things like this, get a few tips here and there, and what have you, uh, showing them how to get out to the place. 
Were you glad to see it closed down when it was closed down? Yes, I don't think we need anything like that in this area because, as I said, we want to be known for other things other than that. Well, tomorrow I'll talk to the present owner of the wagon wheel property, a man who can't escape the past, Marvin Zindler, Eyewitness News. Action 13's Marvin Zindler tonight wraps up his reports on what he calls the worst little body house in Texas, and he's talking about the old wagon wheel near Sealy. The chicken ranch of LaGrange and the wagon wheel of Sealy both shared the limelight when the governor ordered them closed back in 1973. But since then, the chicken ranch has stolen the show, and the wagon wheel has faded from memory. However, there is one man who is still haunted by its past. The chicken ranch became so famous, they moved the building up to Dallas to open as a restaurant. But fate has not been so kind to the old wagon wheel. The building where thousands of travelers stopped for $20 worth of pleasure in the 50s, 60s, and early 70s is now run down and decrepit. Cliff Klein says he bought the property and motel last year to start a plastic recycling plant and thought he had a bargain for a while that is mr klein uh, since you purchased this establishment here uh, have you been troubled with the past uh yes there's been several occasions where my wife has been unfortunately uh, propositioned by people who think that this is still a house of ill repute um, uh, there have been uh, trucks uh, as they go by in the night to uh, honk their air horns, uh, thinking that it's still open. When we first moved in here, and... Uh, Did you know this was an infamous house of prostitution at no. one time? Uh, sir, I had the slightest idea that a motel in a country uh, this way would, would be used for such a thing. I mean... Uh, but most folks around Sealy knew exactly what the wagon wheel was. As Sheriff Truman Maddox says, it was a matter of common knowledge. So when I worked to close down the wagon wheel, it was like attacking an institution. But the sheriff is not the kind of man to hold a grudge, like another sheriff I know from LaGrange. Sheriff, I haven't seen you since 1973, since the wagon wheel was closed. So did you really get mad at me at the time? No, I don't think it... Uh... I had anything happen during the time from your department or anyone else that uh, bothered me in any shape, form, or fashion. Old Dave Ward asked me why I would kick an old dead horse by bringing up the old silly body house. Well, I kind of wondered what happened to the old gals that worked there because it was, you know, a rest home after they reached the age of 25. And I wondered if the folks in Sealy ever forgot that historical pleasure palace and I learned they hadn't. But in remembering, they wanted to forget the past. But my friends, the past you can never forget. Marvin Zindler, Eyewitness News.